This video is designed to aid you in replacing or changing the LED in your Wicked Lights W400 Predator and Hog Hunting Light. There are two basic ways to change the LED assembly in the W400. The easiest way is to simply unscrew the entire bezel from the light by firmly holding the grip points on both the bezel and the light housing. Be sure to grip these two points only as gripping further down on the light housing will simply unscrew the internal charge port. Once the bezel is removed from the light housing, you will see a contact spring which should be loosely attached to the LED. Remove the spring from the LED. Be careful not to lose this spring as your light will not function without it. When you look inside the bezel, you will see the bottom end of the LED assembly. You remove the LED assembly by carefully gripping it on the edges and gently unscrewing it from the reflective housing. Do not unscrew the LED assembly by twisting on the attached spring. If this spring breaks off, your LED will not work. If you cannot get the LED to unscrew, do not attempt to force it. Simply refer to the second way to install the LED, which is explained later in this video. Once your LED is out, you install the new one by reversing the steps we just went over. Again, be sure not to force the LED into the reflective housing and do not screw the LED in by twisting on the attached spring. Newer style LEDs have a friction fit black spacer to ensure light integrity. Be extremely careful not to lose this spacer when removing or installing newer style LEDs. The LED will not work without the spacer. You must double check and make sure the LED is installed completely onto the reflective housing as this is how you focus the light. If the LED is not installed completely, the light will not be in focus. If you cannot get the LED to screw in all the way, refer to the second method of installation. Once the LED is installed fully, you add the contact spring back to the LED. The contact spring is bigger on one side. This bigger side should slide onto the LED assembly. The small end will not fit over the LED assembly. Be sure to install the contact spring correctly. Once the contact spring is installed correctly, you can reattach the bezel to the light housing. You're now ready to use your W400 light. The second way to change the LED is a little longer, but allows you to secure the LED assembly into the reflective housing correctly if you cannot get it done the first way. The second method also requires that you remove the bezel from the light housing. Once the bezel is removed, you will focus your efforts on the front of the bezel where you will find the bezel extension. Your first step is to carefully remove the bezel extension from the bezel. Once the bezel extension is removed, you will see underneath a small o-ring and a glass lens. Remove both items taking note that the o-ring goes on top of the lens. Once the o-ring and glass lens are removed, you can pull out the entire reflective housing on the inside. When you pull it out, you will notice the LED is attached directly onto the reflective housing. Once the reflector is removed, you can easily unscrew the LED assembly from the reflective housing. Again, do not twist on the connected spring to unscrew the LED assembly. You can now install the new LED by screwing it onto the reflective housing. Be sure to screw it in all the way, but do not over tighten it. Again, be sure to include the spacer when installing newer style LEDs. Reassemble the bezel by putting the glass lens in first, followed by the o-ring. Screw in the bezel extension replace the contact spring, and then reattach the bezel to the light housing and you're good to go. We hope you find this video helpful. Be sure to share your success with us on Facebook. Enjoy your wicked light and good hunting.